Hey guys, Lindsay Bell here. I just want to give you a little information before I start a video. And first of all, I apologize for it being so long between the two episodes. Just, and this is why, because the very first, like, few seconds in, it started glitching, like, really bad where we're walking. So I had to keep restarting it, and no matter how many times I kept trying to fix it, it wouldn't start. So I eventually just had to wait a few days and just let it go so it would stop with but that's really why so and I um, explain later in the video um, up to I've done this part up to here and now I don't know what's gonna happen kind of thing so I just wanted to apologize and let you guys know why it was such a long time between the two videos so sit back and relax and enjoy the video guys hey guys Lindsay Bell here we're back in the wolf among us Leaving off where we picking up where we left off last Big time. Me. Sorry. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number twenty-three. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? And like I said in the beginning, right before this episode started, I've done a little bit of this part. So <sighs> I'm just gonna do again, I did last time. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby, I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. You could still be here. Alright, sorry about being quiet during that. I was just gonna let everything go because I did that part and this part No one's been over all night, so he's okay. just going to check. I haven't only take a moment. Gosh, be quiet. I haven't actually done because every them walking in, like I said, it was so glitchy and laggy and it was just freaking annoying. Where do you buy your clothes? So at a store. Let's see. Oh. That your mom? Uh-huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never that was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Don't care if your mom's a hunter. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Is there something over here? Yes. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. Uh, okay. Go to that. I think I can talk to her. The butcher. 
A butcher. Who the fuck's the What's butcher? That? A package having to do with someone called the butcher. It's empty. Not here. There's no one here but me. Can I talk to you? Is it just up behind me? Do you there? like broccoli? Um, Not really. Fun. I love it. Let's see. Ooh, a tree. Okay. Look at the tree, and then I'm gonna talk to her. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Mm -hmm. Do you have any pets? Not technically. Ooh, hello. Okay, look at that, and then we're gonna go talk to her. Hm. Fucking witches. Um, let's go talk to her. Talk? Yes, no? There we go. How much longer do you think it'll be? Okay, that's it. Hold on. Is that the last thing to look at? It's over there. Nothing else. I don't really want to miss anything. Okay. Hold on. Will she say same thing? I can have my mom call you later or something. You just gonna cycle through a thing? Finished yet? Maybe. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Who is this bird? Birdman. <laughs> oh lord. Crane something, all right. God damn it. Shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. No, oh, she's tired. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. I'm not gonna touch it anyways. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not gonna break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Oh, shit. Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, Anti-green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. No comment. Whatsoever. No comment. What? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. And good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Please, Green, just help us <laughs> catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Shut up, so. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Brain could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Please? Please, Greenleaf. Crane is a murderer, and he's escaping. You might want to check your facts on that. I never said he was a murderer. Big V, aren't you listening to me? It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. 
There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. I've kind of got that. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Mm, okay, sort of. you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! She's a little extra pissed because the glamour was made to How look like her. How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for the shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they oh, could don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? Oh my god, shut we up, We can't Snow. trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat. And I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. That's a little mean. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. Fuck no, you, I don't know about burn no, the I'll tree. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Shut up! I don't want to burn it! Please, Sheriff. Can we hire Today's Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. But Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything, but okay. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. I could give a fuck less if Snow's pissed at me. I didn't want to burn the tree. So now what? No, well, I am going to put in fire, of course. I don't know why I said that. No. I'm sorry, I... Oh no. No! <laughs> Don't be glitchy! Okay, hopefully that's the only thing that's glitchy. That's Crane's car. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? Decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now! Hey, you can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! You can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! I get can't. away from her! I can't! I'm sorry! I. Crane, get away from her! So I'm gonna get him off. I, I, I didn't do anything! I promise you, I didn't do anything! These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up! I just, 
just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell, but once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work, I assure you. It, it I still don't must. think he did it. I just think he's a pervert. I, I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. Ew. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. What happened to you? What happened to you? Were you always like this? Not always. It started as most things do, very, very small, nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. I believe you on that part, at least. I just see you as freaking pervert again, still. Bigby? I don't think he did it. I don't think he did either. Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Nope, don't think he did. He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, Of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this- This fuck up knows this more than he's saying. I don't, I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? This is much bigger. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so. You've been stealing money from Fable Town for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. <laughs> Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. Be a waste of time you to kill him. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices, and you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had, and the town took everything it could out of me. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. I did good. I didn't use violence on him. And I kind of wanted to. I really wish I could go check on Narosa. I feel bad for her. So, what are we going back to the thing now and talk to him or? Because it feels like it's getting towards the end. It looks like this actually might be three parts oh, instead of okay. four parts like I did the first two episodes. Schemes. What are you saying? Um, excuse me? What the? Um, um, shit. 
And of course, Crane's the first to run. What else is fucking new? Okay. This doesn't look good. Are there gonna be another- is there gonna be another car? Another one? There's another one. Lovely. Oh look, there's another one. Fucking lovely. Oh lord, it's the fucking Tweedles. God damn it. Hello? Hi. What you got there? Who are you? Hi. Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? Am I ever gonna see the Crooked Man in this? Not now, not now. The grown-ups are talking. What do you want? That sack of flour. Crane, dear. It's Crane. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Oh, hello. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Shut up, B. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? So I dodged that first one for nothing at all. For, are you fucking kidding me? I dodged it for nothing. Bigby? Is this gonna be the episode where he finally changes? Because you've been teasing us with that since the first episode. Yes, it looks like it is. Ooh. Come on. He's getting there. Okay, I'm doing it. Oh, he's getting there. Yep, there goes his arm. What, is he gonna transform into stages to slowly come out of his glamour? It looks like. Oh, here we go. It's actually quite annoying to do. This part. Oh, yeah, oh. Can I throw that? What can I do with that? Can I throw that stuff at him? I'm down to throwing stuff until I actually gotta go get him. Like that, I guess. Oh my god, I didn't kill him! I'm fine with him! the shit out of him. Let's not kill him. Good lord. I'm gonna get you. I'm not gonna kill somebody, am I? Okay, she wants to play catch. Catch him. You didn't catch him. You're supposed to catch him. She doesn't know how to play catch, does she? Oh, what are you gonna do? Fuck you, Just let him go. I don't want to kill him. I don't. I would, but I don't want to. You got lucky. What the fuck? 
<laughs> Why did his eyes go fully white? I'm so confused. Hey, I let him live. He's alive. Don't look at me like that. What do you expect? He got shot. You expect him not to change? That was a um, silver bullet, wasn't it? But, you know, I just didn't know when to end. Oh, fuck. Where did you get that? Um, can I do something? Please? Oh, God, no. on anything but a pure werewolf. But, as it turns out, it's just a big Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Can I not do anything? Wait! Stop! Good God! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, don't do this. Is that the crooked man? Is that all we're gonna see of him? It's really? It's a lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Asshole. Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I know that. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a tweedle stay. Oh shit! Oh! Well, God damn it! A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. Really? You just said that? I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Marissa, what are you doing? I'm sure eventually it'll come down to where I do have to kill somebody. But until then, I'm not going to kill anybody. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to be quiet now. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Okay. Alright, then the player's choice. Let's see. Did you enter those eulogy? Nope. Did you pl what place did you first investigate? Hmm. I wonder where everyone else first went. Probably the um Tweedle's office. Did you make a chill with Jack? Ooh, everyone just about everyone said yes to flycatcher. 
Um, ooh, a lot of people chose not to. Uh, wow, it's kind of a lot more people decided to, um, or no, hold on. I'm, oh, good lord, I'm reading that wrong. I'm sorry. It's been a very long day for me. Um, a lot more people decided to show mercy, but it's pretty close to being half and half. Okay. So, let's go to the previous menu. And then, yeah, that should be that. So, can I get out of this? Yes, I can. I could not remember. Can't wait for the um, fourth episode to come out now. I'm just going to go ahead and just end this. So, when the fourth episode comes out, which I have no clue when that will be, I will continue then. And again, I just want to apologize for it being um, a lot of time between part two and this part three. Just like I said in the beginning, there's just too much going on and glitching and everything. It just, it was getting aggravated, so I decided to take a break just from it, let it fix itself, so. But yeah, until next time, bye guys!